Hello together, my name is Max and welcome back to Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about Flutter itself. So a UI toolkit that is developed by Google, which allows you to create beautiful and fast apps for your services for each device on any screen. That sounds already perfect. Yes, I introduce you very quickly into Flutter itself. We will create a short project and how you can use the Dart programming language to create these apps because Dart is easy to learn and very powerful. All right, this is a first video of the Getting Started with Flutter in 2023 playlist. So if you want to know more, check out the playlist and if the video is already released. Flutter is an amazing framework that allows you to create apps for every platform, be it desktop, web, mobile, or embedded devices. Flutter allows you to create one single code base to create these fast, reliable apps with Dart. If you are completely new to Flutter, don't worry, I already created a lot of videos up here. You can find them and all in these videos, I explain how you install and set up your development environment so you can follow along this tutorial. But before we now jump right into code, let me give you some basics about Flutter. All right, I want to introduce you into one of the concepts of Flutter, which is the concept of widgets. Widgets are like building blocks that you can use to combine and compose your UI as you like. So widgets can be simple, like for example, a text widget or a button widget. They can be complex, like for example, a list or a navigation bar, and they can also contain state which will change depending on the user interaction or whatever happens with them. In this case, it could be a yellow state or this one a blue state, purple state, that can be changed with a user interaction. Sorry, I'll change that here without coloring. Flutter is using a declarative approach. That means you only describe how the UI should be visible and Flutter takes care of updating the information that are there. Let's take, for example, a counter app. Whenever you update the number there, you don't have to access the text widget and say, you increase now to a different text. You only tell a variable that is connected to this text widget what the value of this variable is. And Flutter takes care of updating the UI to show you the new value inside of it. Flutter is using streams and futures to handle asynchronous data management. That means if you have, for example, a stream, which you can imagine like a pipe, and through this pipe, value is coming over time. While a future is like a promise to you that at some given point of time, a data and information will be returned. With these two things, you are able to handle network requests, logins, animations, and much more. One of the major benefits of Flutter is hot restart and hot reload, which speeds up your development process tremendously. Really, it's completely nuts how much time you save with that. First, hot reload just updates your UI quickly. So if you change a color, for example, for your app bar, you can change that very quickly and you see directly in your phone or in your app the change. So you as a developer or a designer who wants to see something, you can quickly work on it and it feels like CSS and HTML, right? You can directly update, you can see every change and you can see how it affects your UI. Hot Restart, on the other hand, cleans up your state and restarts your application from a new so if you have new data or new information or you worked on state things, then the app will be hot restarted. The cool thing is they don't need necessarily a full build. They only build a partials of the app that are necessary and push it into the app. That allows you a very quick development process. All right, but now I can already see that your fingers are itching. You want to code something and create something. So let's head over to Visual Studio Code, create together a project and work on our very first Flutter project together. All right, welcome to our dev setup. So before we begin, I will work today with Visual Studio Code to give you an introduction. Visual Studio Code is just an ed editor which allows you to build everything perfectly in Flutter. You can download it here. The link is down in the video description below. And inside of here, when we have installed it, it should look like something like this. Make sure that you go to the extensions and install Flutter as an extension and maybe also Dart. Now, I have custom shortcuts for Visual Studio Code to match my IntelliJ. But what you can do is closing all the files in Visual Studio. As you can see here on the right side, we have then this show all commands. In my case, it's Shift, Command and A. And with that, we are searching for this command, Flutter new project. You can just enter it then. 
new project. And if you hit enter, it will ask you which kind of project you want to start. We want to go with an application that is empty. There is no documentation, not so many information, but it gives us the opportunity to create a very easy application for the starters. So now we have to choose a folder. I have here the Flutter Projects folder, which sounds perfect for me. And we call it Flutter Hello World Tab. And with that, Flutter in the background creates us with the command. You can see the command here in the CLI, all the files and folders that we need. Short to the structure, what you can see is the lib folder. Here lives all the source code that we are writing. And then we have the Linux, the folder, the macOS folder, Android, iOS, and so on and so forth. And they are specifically for your environment. So thanks to VS Code, the main file that lives inside of lib already contains the boilerplate that we need for a basic Hello World application in Flutter. That is pretty cool. And if we press now F5, for example, you can see it jumps over to the run and debug mode and if you, that would be the same thing as you press here on that start button it will running the first device that it finds and starts up this application in my case it's building now macOS application so let's wait till it's there so after a while of waiting we should see something similar like this so you have the text hello world in your application and on the left side, we have the main.dart. Inside of here, we can see everything that the app makes out of. We have a material, app, scaffold, center, and text. But not so going too much into the details, let's change something first. So if we change the Hello World to Hello Flutter, for example, and save the whole thing inside, that we update the wording immediately, which is pretty cool. But this is just text, right? Pretty easy. But what you saw here is hot reload in action. So let's quickly switch something more immediately visible. Let's change the background color of the scaffold, for example, to colors. Let's say green. Boom. Uh, in 50 milliseconds of reloading time, you can see the whole color has changed. We can also switch to the background blue, white, whatever you like. But now what we also want to do is if we change, for example, the background color to blue, well, the color of the text doesn't fit anymore. So how do we change that? We add to our text widget a so-called text style widget. And inside of here, we can define the color that we want to share. So in our case, colors, let's say white. And if we do that, you can see immediately the update on the right side. And this gives the power of Flutter because you can see immediately your changes. You can work with designers together to create your app as you wish to have that. Let's say you would have some state here and you want to make sure that everything is reset to basic. So for that, we have this little icon here called restart. And in my case, it's a shift command F5 to hot restart. You can't see anything, but it was very quick in 200 milliseconds. It restarted the whole application with all your changes. Development time is very quickly. So, but before we end this video and I give you a whole wrap up what we have learned, let's tell me a little bit about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by ClickUp, the one app that replaces them all. ClickUp is a Flutter app that helps me manage my YouTube channel in projects, tasks and documents, as well as milestones. It also integrates with over 1000 other apps. If you want to try ClickUp for free, use my affiliate link in the video description below. You will get access to all the features and unlimited tasks. Trust me, ClickUp is amazing. Now let's get back to our video. I hope you learned today something about how you can twerk and play a bit around with Flutter and Dark. I really enjoyed it and you learned now how you can change things like colors and texts in Flutter, see hot restart, hot reload. You learned a lot about Flutter the framework itself. There is one more thing that I have to ask you. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our, my channel because that helps me tons and it makes me very proud if I see that a video is successful for you. But now I have one more addition that helps you playing around with Flutter in the future. One bonus that I want to share with you. If you are starting with Flutter, there is a website called zap.run. It's from Intraverse and they have created a very cool website with which you can create Flutter apps in web immediately. So you can say getting started up here and creating a Flutter project. Very simple with all the stuff inside of it. Let's say you want to change something like the my homepage. So you can switch over here just to Flutter explained helped me today. And if I press command S, it saves the whole thing. And after a short building time, we should see also our hot restart here 
and build successful flutter explained help me today so if you want to share your code that you created today with your friends families or whoever is interested check out zap.run because that helps you very easily to share code by sending it to someone with this url so if you open that one you can see your zap.run application print now we understood zap.run which is also pretty cool and up here you find a video where i talk about flame and the game engine and if you are interested in game development with flutter and you think you are advanced enough for it check this out and if you are interested in testing in flutter i already created a playlist here that you can also check out all right and now thanks for watching and see you the next time bye